He sat in on countless legendary recordings. He was Sinatra's right-hand man, played with some of the biggest names in rock and roll. He was there at CBGB's in 77, the Sunset Strip in 81. He's been on tour since 1866, and he's still going strong today. His name is Jack. One of the exciting highlights because a lot of the other artists one is seeing and uh, one also gets to travel a bit so one is fortunate to see some of the international artists as well. So for me the Students Finale is actually one of my uh, very special spots to come and visit. I love the work, I love that they've been included in, uh, in an all India perspective and I also like that they get a chance to be included in a Biennale of this level. And I think what Riaz said just now was very important. He said we're not looking to intrude onto their spaces, right. but to get their work and their practice out into out. the Biennale space. And I think right. that's really amazing. Right. And how do you think our projects like Kochi Biennale and Sunil's Biennale are contributing to the growth of contemporary Indian art at the moment? I think all of it is just exposure, and exposure is so important because I think uh, whether it's a child coming to see something that they'll remember, and uh, perhaps become an artist someday, or whether it's somebody trying to make a living, or it's an institution like us uh, trying to participate in a larger, on a larger platform. Also, people like Rajan and Radhika Chopra, uh, who've uh, donated particularly to the Students Biennale as patrons, so they get to put uh, money into something they believe. Uh, Fika has done an excellent job about actually organizing this, and every single young curator. I mean, to find curators from across India who are young and who don't have museums and don't right. have great spaces to actually show their work and show their skill gets it's a chance here. It's amazing. That. I'm very, very proud to have this panel. At the same time, when we are elevating to kind of understand, I mean, make an art production better in the country, we also wanted to take an initiative that curators who are growing or upcoming, they should understand what kind of process of art learning is happening so they know what kind of material students uses most of the times you know we are seeing that you know uh, there is a kind of uh, you know lesser understanding about you know how a student from first year to, to, to uh, MFA final year evolves as an artist so they have got a chance to kind of see it. so that is another asset uh, uh, I mean uh, this research has brought in. Uh, I'd just like to say that it's been very interesting because started off scanning through at least 100 colleges and then zeroing into 37 colleges who came on board. And it's been a wonderful process to see from April of this year while we were contacting schools to how word began to spread. And midway while we were trying to reach out to schools, there were also schools reaching out to us because word was spreading amongst schools, amongst different practitioners. And we've had a huge support, a massive support from alumni, from every participating institution where they've come on board and just been mentors to the curators, been, been sounding boards to them in talking about selection, talking about processes or even just plain venting about their own journeys. So it's a huge thank you to them as well. Institute knows a lot of artwork, uh, students know almost everything they have made before. 
so we when we go together initially this was the the, the uh, sharing was about uh, about the lows but then also students started to see it as a uh, kind of uh, you know opportunity to uh, think about right. something new right so that and uh, them meeting me also hmm. was something new so they they, right. they started to connect these things like how right. uh, a natural disaster or, or even a kind of any kind of a disaster like they started to compare it with the uh, occupation of kashmir like the, the army being there right. and the uh, flood also like how right. how calamities are changing the course right. of events so then they wanted to create something out of it out right. of the flood material itself yeah. so making some new kind of stories about it working around the images so this uh, series of these collages mm -hmm. uh, the drawings are it's, it's done by sakit but but sakit but the okay. artist name all right uh, so uh, already his work was destroyed so he started to put them together to create and then something and then collate them with yeah, other images into something and this is an actual picture from the from the flood okay but the kind of stories they came up is very interesting right uh, because on the one hand they didn't want to create a kind of ethnographic you know museum document of, of that trauma yeah they they wanted to talk about other things which are which are also kind of related to this trauma and and the, and the way the, the other places are receiving the news about right. kashmir throughout the process what was wounding me was the you know how do i leave out some people and how do i choose i didn't have a major kind of a you know uh uh team or thematic or anything to work on because i didn't know about this place so i wanted to go there i wanted to see what kind of pedagogy is there what kind of practices they are doing right. and what is in their mind when they are making something right so i was open to uh, making a curatorial with them so right. that's what i was trying to do.